there again with him. Yes. And I'm going back for good. I just came home to pack. You're gonna have to kill me to stop me. You think I wouldn't? I'm your only child. The only record of your sorry life once you're gone. You're too vain to picture a world without a piece of you in it. I think you mistake my pride for vanity. I'm an electrician. Strangers welcome me into their homes and leave me there alone to ply my trade. A man like me is dead if it doesn't come with a sterling reputation. You are my blood. But if you do something to shame me, to shame this family, I will do whatever it takes to make sure no one ever knows you belong to me. Well, prepare for the shaming of your life. Because I am in love with Paul, and I'm gonna go live with him and his kind, and I'm gonna tell anybody that will listen to me who I am and who my daddy is, and that I chose to be one of the outcasts because anything is better than living with the evil that lives in this house. You think a father doesn't know what his daughter's gonna do before she does it? I know I can't stop you, and I'm not a murderer, but I did invite my friend Morris over to give you a proper send-off. Who the hell is Morris? Morris is an artist. You're too much of a perfectionist. Well, I have to be. There can be no mistakes. You see, the human skin is a delicate canvas. Uneven, textured, sometimes scarred. And she, she is my masterpiece. And she's waking up. Where's the mirror? Right there. I want to see the look on her face. Penny, Penny, open your eyes. Daddy's got a big surprise. Daddy, it hurts. It hurts. Beauty is painful, sweetheart. Stick out your tongue. I had it forked. <laughs>